Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological site in the southeastern Anatolia region of Turkey that dates back 12,000 BCE, featuring circles of massive T-shaped stone pillars, which are currently the world's oldest known megaliths. These megalithic pillars feature intricate carvings of animals, along with totems of humanoid figures. The engineering of these pillars is so incredible, and the fact that a prehistory culture could have lifted up 10 ton stones and placed them atop a foundation strong enough to hold them in place is in itself an incredible feat. Apart from Gobekli Tepe being the oldest cultivated site we know of, what makes all of this so significant in our quest for the forbidden origins of humanity? Well, Gobekli Tepe is believed to be of a social or ritual destination. According to the site discoverer and excavator Klaus Schmidt, no fire pits were found, no food scraps. There is also speculation that the site has astronomical ties to the gods. The interesting fact about Gobekli Tepe is, majority of the area is yet to be excavated, and it's been discovered that this site has deeper layers that may unlock further mysteries to the ever-extending timeline of our civilization. Things just seem to be getting older, and academia seem to be struggling to keep up. I've added a link to Gobekli Tepe in the description. As we move along the timeline, we arrive at an era and civilization we are more familiar with, Ancient Egypt. According to Wikipedia, Ancient Egypt was a civilization of ancient North Africa, concentrated along the lower reaches of the Nile River, situated in the place that is now the country Egypt. Ancient Egyptian civilization followed prehistoric Egypt and coalesced around 3100 BCE, according to the conventional Egyptian chronology. Ancient Egypt is steeped in mystery and speculation. We have one narrative from the scientific establishment that the Egyptian civilization is roughly 5,000 years old, that the pyramids and other colossal structures of Egypt are mainly considered to be tombs of the pharaohs. Here are some intriguing facts that surround Egypt and the Great Pyramid of Giza. 1. No individual, group or organisation understands how the Great Pyramid was built. 2. A vast majority of the Giza Plateau is yet to be excavated. 3. The dating of ancient Egypt is continuously moving further back in time. 4. Scientists are still discovering chambers deep inside the Great Pyramid. 5. No mummies have ever been found in any Egyptian pyramids. 6. The following civilizations added additional works to the previously built structures, including the Sphinx. 7. Ancient scriptures and artwork depict interventions by celestial beings from the cosmos. According to a book by Dr. Robert Schock titled Origins of the Sphinx, Celestial Guardian of the pre pharaonic Civilization, the Great Sphinx is a lot older than what the field of Egyptology assures us. And Dr. Schock has some compelling evidence to back it up. Quote, to make a long story short, I came to the conclusion that the oldest portions of the Great Sphinx, what I refer to as the core body, must date back to an earlier period, at least 5000 BCE. And my latest research now points to the end of the last ice age, circa 10,000 BCE. A time when the climate was very different and included more rain. Just so you know, Dr. Robert Schock is an anthropologist, a geophysicist and a geologist, with accolades as an honorary professor and the director of the Institute for the Study of the Origins of Civilization. So as you can see, Dr. Schock is the real deal when it comes to the verified information on this subject. But there are many other specialists in this field that we'll never hear about that offer an alternative perspective to the current paradigm of ancient Egypt. Be sure to research the works of the following individuals, Graham Hancock, Robert Bouval, and Christopher Dunn. I've inserted a link in the description to Dr. Robert Schock and his work.